Hello, everybody. My name is Juliana Andrews, and today I'm going to be talking about the Hyperloop project here on campus. All right, so many of you may have heard of the Hyperloop in the news recently, but for those of you that haven't, back in 2013, Elon Musk released a paper that's sort of featuring this new form of high-speed transportation. And his plan is to construct a Hyperloop along the median of the five to make the commute time between LA and San Francisco 35 minutes. Wow. Now, since, uh, since 2013, there hasn't really been much development in this sort of new technology. So SpaceX has created this competition in which university teams are challenged to design and build a half-scale Hyperloop pod to be tested on a one-mile track. Now this competition began back in September, and since then we've had to go through various milestones, sort of like elimination rounds, which began with our preliminary designs. So 320 teams turned in their preliminary designs, and from that, SpaceX selected 120 to move on to submit their final designs and attend Design Weekend. Now at Design Weekend, we presented our ideas to SpaceX, and out of 120 teams from 23 different countries, we finished fifth place overall, and of the top five teams, we're the first team using air-based levitation. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> also, another thing is that uh, our team, at the time of Design Weekend, there was only about 20 members, but since then, we've grown to about 50. So, big team. <laughs> All right, so now real quickly, I'm going to walk you through the pod. Now, this is what we're going to be constructing for the competition. So beginning with our fuselage. Here you can see our fuselage shape, and it's going to be made entirely out of carbon fiber. Like our fuselage, our structure is made out of carbon fiber sandwich panels, as well as aluminum 6061 plates to help stiffen the structure. Now located on the four corners of the pod, we have our suspension system, and just beneath each suspension sy system, we have our levitation system. Next, we have our stabilizers, which are located in the center of the pod, because for the, um, the competition, SpaceX is going to be providing a rail, and so we'll use that kind of as a guide as we progress through the one mile. Also located in the center of the pod, we have our mechanical braking system, which is four race quality calipers, which will clamp onto the rail and utilize friction to bring us to a stop. Just outside of that, we have our magnetic braking system, which will induce eddy currents along that center eye I mentioned before, and that will help decrease our speed before initiating our mechanical brakes. Lastly, we have our air cylinders, our control system, and our piping, which is all encased in the fuselage. All right, well, that's all the time I have, so thank you so much for your time. And at our booth, we have a prototype for our suspension system, as well as a scaled model for the, the mold that we're going to use to make the fuselage as well as various test rigs and machined parts for both our mechanical and magnetic braking system. So I really encourage you to come check it out and experience these firsthand. Thank you. <laughs>